in the bad. Just say that. Just say the exact same thing. I think what you've seen there in the first half, especially, it was uh, story of the season played out in 45 minutes. You know, thought we started the game really well. Probably should have scored a third in terms of the one with Teddy. I think he's got to do better, clean through with Gordon. I think he squaffs it with his right foot. I can't remember, but do you remember what chance I'm meaning? So that was an unbelievable chance. But Stephen comes up with two good goals, two and all in the game. I think to give Hearts or due, to score two decent goals, but we gift them two goals. And it's the story of the season. I don't want to sit here and blame individuals because it's a collective sport and the players that made the mistakes today have been big players for me throughout the season. just so happened the two came together. Um, I thought we created enough chances in the game to take more from the game. So you've got a chance in the first half with Teddy. You've got a chance in the second half with Teddy. Ball gets squared to the right-hand side, takes his touch. He's either got to hit it first time, but his first touch has got to be tidier. But it's a great chance. Clean through and goal again. It's a wee bit of pressure coming in. He takes a big touch to clear it. Um, I think Dan McGuire's got a really, really good opportunity in the second half. McDevlin plays a ball clean through. And Dan tries to take it first time in his left foot. Um, but he's 1v1. I think he's the favourite. He's got to take his touch, come back in on his stronger foot, which is his right. I think that's a great opportunity. Michael Nottingham had a, a header, probably could do a wee bit better with it. Um, it was a free head, albeit it was quite high, he's it caught the ball quite high. But I think when you look at overall the balance of the game, Shamal had really one save, the one that he kind of got a touch on to the bar, and then I think Big Knots maybe clears it. Bar that, bar that, we gifted Hearts two goals. So when I look at it, I sound delusional, I know I do. I think we create some really, really good opportunities in the game. And it's the story of the season, isn't it? Story of the season. The good and bad of Livingston. No, you've seen that all in 45 minutes. I don't think I've ever came to Tynecastle and created as many chances. Um, but I'll caveat that with, I've never came to Tynecastle and conceded that many chances at the same time. So the first two, we drop runners, get it. It might not be the first two, the first and the third maybe. We drop runners, but we gift them two goals. We gift them two goals and allow them. If they're having a two-goal advantage, we go in at half-time, two goals down. And I think we've only got ourselves to blame. What explanation have you given for the second half? He kicked the ball. I know, I just saw that. What, what does that come under? Kind of See, for me, right, the kid comes off the park for straight, right? He's still young. He's still a young player. Comes off the park for straight, he's kicked a ball. He's kicked one of our balls. He's kicked it into our dugout. I just think there's got to be a wee bit of common sense applied. No, I don't know how you guys see it. There's no explanation, you're not allowed to do it. Does the fourth official see that? I'd imagine so. I've seen it, so I'd imagine he's seen it. But the bottom of the league, fighting for survival, 2 0 up, losing 4 2. Get substituted. I think there's got to be a wee bit of common sense applied. I, I, is that the way we, do we really? Is that the way we want the game to go? I don't know about you guys. It's not the. It's not the way I want the game to go. Um, you want to see that? I'm not saying what he's done is right. By the way, it's wrong. But I think you've got to give him a wee bit of leeway there. Um, <laughs> he's on a yellow. You don't then give him another yellow and send him off. We're at the bare bones as it is, so he's let us down as well, Teddy, because he shouldn't have done it. But I do believe there's a wee bit of common sense need to apply there, um, just around the circumstances. Now, if that bottle had missed the dugout and went into the fan, book him all day long, all day long. If that was into the Hearts technical area, if it was a Hearts water ball, book him all day long. But I just think there's a wee bit of common sense need applied there. Um, that's just my take on it. Agree. But that's not where football is, eh? I think the logic's went out the window a wee bit. But um, fourth official, if it was a fourth, he's obviously felt he had to um, let the referee know. And I'll just 
no really want to speak too much more about officials if I'm honest. Pardon? It'll be one night. Yeah. It's a double yellow. Yeah. It's one night. I don't know what it's going to fall under, but yeah. can he be? You can he be killing the kid for that? Like, <laughs> kid, kicked a water bottle. Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah, but listen, I'll have a word with him. I've spoke to him about it. He's let us down as a group because ultimately now we've lost him for the next game of football, which in this position is it's not a great position to be. So. He's let us down as a group, he's let himself down, but I think there should be a wee bit of logic applied there also. Cheers, lads. Cheers. Thank you.